Number five of the Teddy Bear Project is to carefully cut out the bear pattern and felt together following the dark lines. This is going to be a little difficult cutting through two pieces of felt, but it is possible. You're going to be using a very sharp pair of scissors, so please be careful. The biggest problem with this step is students are not using the scissors properly. When you cut, the inside part here is very sharp as well as the point, so be careful, but this is the part that does the cutting. So when I hold this up, if you see the outer dark line, we cut away on the dotted, now we are cutting on the dark through paper as well as your two pieces of felt. So if you notice, I'm trying to lift it up to the camera, I'm very slowly using the inside portion of my scissors. The paper may shred a little, that is fine. So this is going to take you some time. Again, I have more experience with this. Now this keeps falling, it's hard because I have it up in the air too. So I'm just gonna take and get rid of that corner piece. And cut whatever way is comfortable for me. has a very nice smooth cut. I'm going to continue to do this so I don't have to go exactly how the bear is going. Whatever's comfortable to me and then I'm going to go back to those pieces. So again, kind of pushing those scissors, just using the inside. I am not totally pushing the scissors down. It is working though. Okay, So I'm going to go this way. I'm gonna put it down on the floor to make it easier. And again, I'm going around the outer portion of the teddy bear. I'm not gonna do a whole video. I'm going to shut the video off and I'm going to continue to cut. But again, you wanna go along the dark line. These pieces that I am cutting off where the pins are, you will eventually take the pins out, put them either in your pin cushion or on your magnet, and these will go in the scrap bin. I'm gonna continue cutting, and I will show you step number six next. So I just completed step number five. I cut all around the teddy bear on the black line. Make sure you get all into the crevices, all on the bottom, and if you turn it around, it should have a nice, smooth cut all around the teddy bear. Sometimes cutting the teddy bear pattern out first gets a little discouraging because it is so difficult. Sometimes I allow you to do step number six first, but let's try with the teddy bear. And then step number six is to now carefully cut out the foot pads, the muzzle, and the two inner ears. So again, you're gonna take your pair of scissors and you're gonna now cut along this the black line. We already cut the dotted line, now we're gonna cut along the black line. So just like I cut out the teddy bear, I'm now cutting on the black line. So again, I'm gonna place it down on the ground. You're going to leave your paper as well as your pins on until we get to the step where we take them off. So there's one done quickly. The foot pads, the inner ears, and the muzzle, of course, is much easier at least for me, it may not be for you, than the teddy bear, okay? Because you're really just going around in a circle. So again, you're gonna make sure you use the inside of those scissors. I'm gonna continue to cut these, and we will come back for step 6A. At this point, I've cut out my teddy bear pattern as well as my foot pads, my inner ears, and my muzzle. Again. See how nice and rounded they are? My paper is still on at this point. Okay, so I look to the back side to see that it has a nice clean cut. So at this point, we are at step 6A where we're going to remove the pins and the paper pattern from the bear. Be careful when you take the pins off. The pins are either gonna go on your pin magnet or in the pin cushion, okay? And you have to make sure the back of your bear receives 
a sticker, okay? It's either gonna have a B on it or the word back, and you're gonna make sure this goes on the back of your, uh, of your teddy bear. So before I even take the pins off, I'm gonna place this on your teddy bear or give you it and you will place it on your teddy bear. It's important that this stays on the back until we're ready to sew the bear together in a later step. So I'm just gonna take the pins off. I have a magnet over here. Take the pin off. You will be sharing a pin cushion or the pin magnet with somebody at your table. So the paper pattern you're going to keep for later use when you accessorize, also when you place the muzzle and the foot pads on for uh, positioning on the bear. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. The back of the bear is going to go in your plastic bag. I do not have a plastic bag handy. You will just take your bear We'll make sure that your sticker stays and that will go in your plastic bag. Very important. Okay, so that was the back of it, correct? That's the back. And then you're gonna flip it over and this is the front. So that's a very important step that this is the front of the bear and over here was the back. You see how I flipped it over or else it will not match up. So you're going to take the back off and then you're going to flip this piece over. Okay, so that's removing the paper patterns from the bear. Okay, at that point, I did step seven, put the back of the bear in the plastic bag, and now I'm gonna move on to step number eight, which is take the pins, your paper patterns off, the foot pads, the inner ears, and the muzzle. So again, my pins are going to go on my magnet, this inner ear, your small paper patterns may go in the garbage. You are going to keep the teddy bear pattern. So this you're going to keep in your plastic bag. These you may throw out. Okay, so I've made it. So I've taken all my pins out of everything. There's no pins. That was step number eight. The next step will be now pinning these in the proper position on the front of your teddy bear before we begin sewing. 